we are gonna solve this equation we want to find x is what x can be only real numbers and thanks for subscribing turning on notification and liking my video so let's start to solve this problem we can say what we can define x this is root here index is x we can say it is x to the power of 1 over x and then we conclude x equal what x equal to x to the power of 1 over x so look when you see something like x 1 over x something in terms of x in the powers we should do what so when we see something like this in something in terms of x in the powers the idea is to take a log or ln from both sides but when we can take ln from both sides if you look always uh, the functions you can imagine the graph of the function for example ln it is like this and imagine imagine this function if you pay attention the domain the domain of ln is always positive real numbers so if i want to take ln i should consider case one that x is positive if i take ln it will be ln x equal to ln x to the power of one over x one rule that is important in logarithm problems and ln is that when you have power you can take it in front of here means what there are around 15 important rules in logarithm problems also there are some rules similar rules in geometry algebra there are around 50 important formulas in geometry if you want to know them feel free to send message to my whatsapp number they are useful from basic level up to imo international level so here i can say ln x equal to 1 over x ln x so when you have power you can take it in front of the number now if you take all things to one side ln x minus 1 over x ln x equal to 0. okay now we factor from ln x and it will be what 1 minus 1 over x equal to 0. okay now we have two cases this is 0 or this is 0. so again if you imagine this graph you can say okay if ln x equal to 0 what can we conclude the only case that ln is 0 it is ln x it is x the only x that ln is 0 is 1 so x is 1 now the second case the second part 1 minus 1 over x equal to 0 so we conclude 1 equal to 1 over x and if we multiply by x both sides x equal to 1 and we see that x is positive is satisfied so let's consider the second case the second case that when x is less than zero so when x is less than zero we had what equation x equal to x to the power of one over x x equal to x to the power of one over x now okay because x is negative i can say okay for example x is negative y which y is positive uh -huh. and also let me tell you x cannot be zero so you don't need to check zero because it is one over zero or root with the index zero and it is undefined so only need to consider x positive negative and if you consider it will be negative y and it's a negative number negative y to the power of one over negative y so let me tell you something when you want to find here it, it, you can divide it to two parts negative one to the power of this and y to the power of this number so when we want to find negative one to the power of something because a, y is real number because x is real number from assumption of the problem so for example negative one to the power of root two you don't know it is positive negative but for rational number also for integers it's obvious for example you say negative one to the power of four is what plus one and negative one to the power of three is what negative one for some negative one to the power of negative three is what negative one so it is only related negative one to the power of zero is one so it is only related to that the power is even or odd but also for rational number means something p over q m over n when you have for example two over three you can say okay it is what like this negative one squared so it will be what one 
this plus one. So here you can have these numbers. And for example, if you have negative one to the power of m over n, which m over n are in lowest term, you can say it is nth root of negative one or to the power of m. And all, you should pay attention because there are real numbers. If m is odd, the only case that is bad, m is odd. So here inside it will be negative and n is what? Even. So in this case, it will be n negative one and n is even and it is bad, undefined. But in other cases, it will be okay. Now, we want to focus on this that we found. So look here, we said, okay, negative one can be to the power of rational number with this property. So we understand because this should be rational. So we should say, okay, y equal to p over q in lowest term. Suppose this, okay? So in lowest term now, let's copy this part and move it here to solve okay so let me write rest with red now we say okay y equal to pq so we can say negative y is what negative p over q and look pq we know y is positive we said so pq are integers or positive integers okay so negative p over q equal to what and negative 1 to the power of 1 over this. So you can say negative p over q. And it is what? Uh -huh. Because y is p over q, it is 1 over y. So we should say negative q over p. It is 1 over y, reciprocal of this q over p, and negative here. y to the power of this. So it will be what? p over q. Again, this one will be negative reciprocal of y. Now, we want to simplify. We know that here left-hand side is negative. Okay, here is negative. So right-hand side also should be negative. P over Q is what? P over Q is positive. This one is positive. So this one should be negative. This one should be negative means what? It is... Uh, the, let, let's work on this part. Negative 1 to the power of negative Q over Negative 1 to the power of, you can say it's negative 1 to the power of negative 1 times q over p. Negative 1 to the power of negative 1 is negative 1 to the power of q over p. It should be negative here, so we understand something. It is negative 1 to the power of q, and here in the index we should write p. So here it should be negative. So we understand q should be odd. To have negative because if q is even then it will be plus one right hand side will be positive and what about p because inside the root is negative so p should be what should be odd number so we understand p over q should be odd so now by these things it will be negative p over q p and q are odd numbers so negative one to the power of q an odd number and then odd index here is odd so it will be negative one and p over q, if you had any question about the solution of this problem or other problems, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the comments or in the description. So p over q, negative q over p. So we can do what? We can cancel these negative ones. We multiply by negative ones. So p over q. And because we have negative here, you can consider reciprocal of this q over p. The power of q over p. Now, we can say what here? I can raise both sides to the power of p. It will be p q to the power of p, q over p to the power of what q. Now, if I consider p inside q to the p equal to q to the q, p to the q. Now, if I cross multiply, p to the p times p to the q equals to q to the p times q to the q. Now we say what? p to the power of p plus q equals q to the power of p plus q. Now I want to find p, q. I want to prove p, q are equal. How? I say, okay, if again, look, I have some variables in the powers. I should do what? ln. Take ln from both sides. p to the power of p plus q, ln q. 
to the power of p plus q. Now, by ln rules p plus q, ln p equal to p plus q, ln q. So we want to cancel this. It is not zero. We can cancel. Why? Because we said pq are odd. And also we said pq are positive integers. Odd positive integers. So some of them will be also positive. And we can cancel. So you understand ln p equals ln q. If you again imagine the graph of ln. Look, it is strictly increasing. So if two of them are equal, you can conclude that p equal to q because it's a one-to-one -one function or we can say ln is always strictly increasing so p equal q now if p equal q x was what y was p over q so we conclude what let me write here the rest we proved y is one because p equal to q so when y is one then x will be what we said x zero x equal to negative y we said y is 1, so we conclude x equal to negative 1. So here also we can write. So we have two, two answers. Our answers are when x equal to positive 1 and when x equal to negative 1. So we proved this problem completely. You can use also click on my other videos and you can improve your problem solving. As I said, there are around 50 important formulas in geometry also other topics if you want to know them feel free to send message to my whatsapp number in the description and also thanks for subscribing turning on the notification and liking my videos